G'day to uh, all the viewers who are interested in how to do it yourself, uh, install satellite Christian television in your home. My name is Paul Nicholas and I live on the Sunshine Coast in Australia and my wife Pauline and I have been travelling all around Australia installing Christian satellite dishes, especially in remote places, to help people get this wonderful blessing into their lives. And uh, i just got to say before I start that Christian television is amazing because it's the Word of God coming into your life right in your living room on a daily basis, 24-7. You can go to your television and put it on and you're getting the Word of God and blessings coming into your life to heal you, restore you, build your faith, educate you. It's just wonderful. So that's why we do what we do. And uh, we'd love to help people get it on and we'd like to help them get it on as cheaply as possible uh, so that it's blessing them as much as it can. Right, well the first thing you've got to do is decide are you capable of doing this yourself? Can you climb a ladder and stand on the roof? Because you need to do that. Can you get up into the ceiling and go, go along the rafters in the ceiling to get the cable to the top of the wall where you need to drop it? Can you manipulate a cable down a wall uh, to get it into your living room, etc.? If you can't do any of these things, then I do suggest you get a technician and pay him the money to come and install it into your home. Because there are a few little technical things and you need to be fairly capable of doing those things. However, for the average handyman, it's quite possible. And I'm going to give you a few clues how to do it. First of all, you've got to get a set. And there are many suppliers. If you go to the TBN uh, 1800 number and, and give them a ring, they'll, they'll put you in touch with a supplier around Australia or New Zealand who could... Uh, send you a do-it-yourself kit and in the do-it-yourself kit there's going to be several components first of all there's going to be a dish like this this one's an 85 centimetre dish uh, recommended for uh, most places in Australia but uh, if you if you're living in the cyclone areas then you've got to go to a smaller dish because it's uh, less of a problem with the very strong cyclonic winds um, so once you get your dish, you'll also get some sort of roof mount, either a tin roof mount. Now, the other thing you might get is a, is a, is a roof mount for, um, this is for a tile roof. Uh, very important that you, you get, this called a gutter mount. And as you can see by that little dip there, the gutter actually goes along here and this sits in the gutter. These get clamped onto the rafters in, in the roof, and a bit depending on what width, what width they are, and you screw them in there, and that's a very secure mount under a tile roof. More about mounting later. But first of all, you, you'll get some components with your dish. You, you'll get a little frame like this. Different dishes have different things. Just follow the instructions. But if you're getting one of these Asia Shine dishes, then it's important that you learn how to put them together. The very first thing you put together is the arm on this backing plate. And if you look at the... Uh, I don't know when you can get that on the camera, but if you look at the backing plate, there's a little indentation there to show you which way to put the arm. That's the first thing you do. Then you go to your little bag of bolts and you pick out the two bolts with the flat heads. And they go in this way. And you secure them first because uh, you won't be able to put them on after you put the rest of the equipment on. So I'll show you how to do that later. When I've, uh, then, you, then you put the U-bolts go into this part and you put them in there and you fix them with the big bolts. You'll find the big bolts in the pack uh, big nuts, I beg your pardon, and uh, that goes in there. And then this will go on the arm holder like so, with that little lip sitting to the top and the arm hanging out the bottom. Now, I've already put, put one of these together. While, while you're away having a cup of tea, I put one together for you to show you how it works. So that's the, um, that's the frame that holds the dish. And as you can see, this is the little lip that sits on top of the pole. Uh, that's on your roof sits on the pole like so and bolts on nice and tight you'll also get one of these called an lmb a low noise blocker put that in there and that's that eventually gets adjusted to fine tune the reception so remember that don't screw it up too tight until you've got it all hooked up to the cable down through the roof to your television set and the set top box okay also the do it yourself people should should send you a wall plate on your wall you will already have 
a single wall plate bringing your television into your room, well they'll send you a double that will replace it and hopefully you can get the cable they send you down into the wall and out into this extra hole here for the satellite television to come into your living room. So that's what they'll send you. They'll also send you, and I'll come around and get a little bit closer to the camera, uh, they'll send you some little tiny fittings that will screw on to the cable and uh, then you won't have to have the special tools that the, the professionals use to clamp them on. So there you go, that's the little screw on fitting that goes on the cable. Uh, very easy to apply, you don't need, um, I'll just show you what happens here. You pair the, pair the plastic away from the cable, making very, very sure that you don't short circuit the silver wires with the copper wire. That's a very important point, because if you've left a little silver wire touching there, you will not get your picture. Then you, you put all that inside the centre of this little fitting here, and push it up as far as you can go, and you'll screw it on until it's nice and tight. And when it's nice and tight, then it's ready to be plugged into your... Um, fittings. So you'll need a few tools when you're putting this stuff together. You need a Stanley knife, uh, you'll need a pair of pliers to, to sever your cable to cut it where you want it cut. You'll need a spanner, you'll need a hammer to uh, put the uh, cable clips when you're running cable down a wall. You, you stabilize it on the wall with a hammer. You, you probably need a drill. I use a drill to uh, pre-drill some of the holes in the roof and also to do up some of the bolts on the, the fitting but you can do them with a little spanner you don't have to have an electric drill um, so yeah there's a few things you, you might also have a compass uh, to help you find the direction of the satellite more about that later and some do-it-yourself kits include a satellite finder this is a little gauge you put in the line you screw it into the line uh, and as you're twisting the satellite around on the roof, you'll see this little needle go woo, whistle up when you get the satellite signal. So uh, not absolutely essential, but it does help it a little bit if you've got a satellite finder. Uh, a very important uh, thing you, you'll be sent in your kit, of course, is the set-top box. And along with this will come uh, a set of RCA leads. That's the yellow, white and red leads that you plug into the back of the set-top box and these go into your AV connection on your television so that when you turn your TV on you go to AV1 or whatever it is and you pick up your Christian TV. Your cable from the, uh, from, from the roof will, will go into um, the, the, one of these little lines that says LMB in. The LMB of course is this little knob here on the end of the thing. When that goes into the set top box and from then they, then they go out to the to the television through the RCA leads. So that's what the uh, set top box is like. Um, they're different types, different prices, but uh, whatever your supplier is sending you uh, should work and it should have a guarantee on it. So most of it are guaranteed for 12 months. So that's a start on uh, how to get established and uh, now I'm going to put a dish together and show you how to mount it on the roof and seek out the satellite. So uh, we'll just take a little commercial break in the meantime and God be with you. Well I was just telling you about set top boxes but I forgot to tell you that when you get a set top box you need to... Uh, Ask the supplier to pre-program the set-top box so that you can pick up the Christian channels and the two English news channels, one from Russia and one from Iran. Press TV, that's called. So if your supplier will do that for you, it'll save you a lot of headaches. If he won't do it for you, then find another supplier. They should do it for you. Pre-program the set-top box to pick up all the Christian channels. There's about 10 of them. And uh, then also get the two English news channels from Russia and Iran. Now I want to talk about the tripod now. This is the, for the corrugated iron roof. It'll come in a kit, bits and pipes together, but they all fit together. If you just follow the instructions in the kit. These are two uh, uh, telescopic arms here so that you can get your vertical in the vertical position. You take out existing um, bolts from the roof 
and in your kit will get you'll be given slightly bigger bolts put them in to your tripod but make sure you include this little waterproofing plaque underneath so no water can get in where you've taken the old screw out and put the new one in so you'll have uh, four points to be screwed down uh, two up here under the under the leg and uh, one on each of these support arms so make sure your uh, major pole is vertical looking at the uh, neighbor's house or some pole down the street line that up so that it's vertical. Another important point is to remember to have these poles, these arm supporting arms on the southern side of your main support pole because your dish is going to be sitting on the other side and you'll be swinging it around to find the satellite and you don't want these in the road over there so put these on the southern side of the pole. Right now we're going to show you a little bit about how to find the satellite. First of all, you go to that web page that I told you about, dishpointer.com. Let me tell you a little bit about dishpointer.com, a wonderful internet tool to help you locate the direction of the satellite from your house. As you can see from this web page that I have up, there's a place for you to punch in your address at this point here, and I put in 10 Tritonia Drive, Coolan Beach on the Sunshine Coast. And down here, you click on the most popular satellite, which is Optus D2, and that will appear in this column here. Then you just hit enter or go, and it will go and search for the satellite and the direction. And this is what it will come up with. I'll just uh, widen the lens here and have a little peep you'll come up with a nice map of your town or your location and uh, there we go and I can zoom that up a little bit more by going to the uh, enlarge picture and we get up right on top of my house as far as I can go if you go too far it'll tell you you can't go there anymore so we just have to come back one little notch and that's the <coughs> house that I live in and as you can see from that uh, green line, um, I know the direction at which I must point the satellite. And it's just over the corner of my neighbour's house on the opposite side of the road. And if I can see that from my rooftop, I point the satellite towards, towards my neighbour's house, that orange house. I point it towards the corner of that house. And then if I look further down on the screen, it'll show me the elevation. See, under here, it'll tell you elevation at 59 degrees. And its uh, true direction is 357.6 degrees. That's almost north. And then the LMB skew is minus 2. Now, the LMB skew is the little uh, plastic knob on the front of the dish you just skew it a little bit to the left a couple of degrees and there's some markers on the top to show you where minus five would be so you just skew it a little bit to the left and that's your fine tuning so that's what you do you go onto the internet and from there you find the exact exact location you're going to point your dish you'll be standing behind your dish like so holding it and pointing it along that line that you've been given from the internet over the neighbor's chimney or whatever building or object you can see on that on that internet website you've also got to work out which elevation and uh, i'll swing this around so that you can get an idea of how that works i use this very cheap little angle finder that that I got at the cheapest chip shop, cheap shops, uh, and uh, I'll put that under the arm there, and on on that it'll tell me what angle we are elevated to. And I think you know for this area it's about 59 degrees, so I've got to just go up a little bit more to there, and that's about the angle that I'll be looking for the satellite on. Then I'll stand behind the dish and point it in the direction that I've been given from the internet and uh, 
with my little satellite finder, uh, I'll be listening for the whistle um, to tell me that I'm receiving the signal. So that's the basics of it. Um, this um, LMB at the front, uh, when, you, when you're um, in Australia, it's usually somewhere between vertical to up around seven or eight o'clock. Uh, depending on the LMB type, some of the LMB pipes don't have a central positioning. Uh, they have an offset position, but for many of the LMBs, they'll just be a little bit like between between five o'clock and eight o'clock as you're looking at it, uh, working on the hands of the clock. So, for the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, I set it at about seven o'clock. Uh, but then you can fine tune that when you get your set top box on menu you can see whether there's quality or signal strength you must have 50 percent quality strength to be able to pick up a picture but as you move this a little fractionally the signal quality will go up and down on your television in the in the installation menu you'll see where the signal quality and the and the strength quality uh, is, is registered but you've got to have at least 50 percent quality to pick up signal and if it's raining don't go on the roof if it's really raining you won't get any signal so that's a general rule if it comes down heavy storm uh, you'll find that you will not get signal well now once you've got your uh, set top box plugged into your television and the wire going from your dish on the roof down through the ceiling, down the wall, into your TV. You put this little satellite finder in the line. It's just a matter of unscrewing the clips from here and uh, putting them, put, put this satellite finder in the line. And then you, you wind up the squelcher until you hear a little noise, all right? You wind it up until you hear a little noise and then you start to move the dish very, very slowly in the direction that you've been told by dishpointer.com. Very, very slowly in two directions, that way as well as up and down to get the elevation. Might be slight variation, so, so you've got to move it across and up and down. And then you'll find that this little whistle will start to whistle when you get close to the satellite. What you do then is you turn the volume of the whistle right down as low as you can get it. And you do it again. A little cross to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit up, a little bit down, until you get the whistle to come up even higher again. And then you turn that whistle down. Keep turning the whistle down, going back to the controls, even doing a little bit of shifting of this LMB here. Across that way, that way until you get the whistle as high as you possibly can. Then have a look at your television screen. If you go into your menu, uh, go installation, you'll see a quality signal strength line and a signal strength line and a quality strength line. You've got to have something showing on quality before you exit the menu to find a picture. So they're pretty important little tricks. It's good to have someone down in the house if you've got a walkie-talkie uh, you can talk to each other or otherwise you've got to shout out the window that there's something on the quality line or there is nothing on the quality line. You cannot get picture until you've got a quality showing down on the television menu screen. So that's the satellite finder. Very handy little thing to have and most installation do-it-yourself kits could include that. They might cost you about $30 or $40 max. Uh, to get one of these but it will be a fine tuner for you and a great help. I should say that once you do get signal and you're watching that quality level down in the, on the menu in the TV screen that's when you tighten it up. You have somebody up on the roof tightening up all the nuts and bolts and get everything tightened up while somebody watches the gauge downstairs because just using a spanner to tighten something you could just move it a little bit offline and you could lose some strength. So if they do lose strength and untighten it and shift it back again and tighten it again. So it's very important to have somebody watching the monitor screen as you tighten it up to make sure you don't lose your signal quality or your signal strength.